In my previous lecture, I have discussed about the first order systems and the response for the first order. Now I will consider the first order systems in series. In series, the arrangement can be given in two ways that is in non-interacting way and in an interacting way. So, it consists of two systems and non-interacting and the other one is an interacting system. So first I will consider a non-interacting system. So let me consider a liquid tank which is a first order system and I will take two liquid tanks and arrange it in a series. This is the first tank which is having an inlet flow rate Q of T and having a resistance R1 and the outlet flow rate is Q1 which is connected to other tank in series which is having the outlet flow rate Q2 and another resistance R2. The first tank is filled to a height till H1 and the second tank is filled to a height H2. So in this arrangement the flow through R1 depends only on H1. Suppose if I change the height here it won't make any change in flow rate Q1 but it will make change in flow rate Q2. So this type of arrangement is called non-interacting system. In a simple way if there are any changes in the downstream it won't affect the upstream process. This is called non-interacting system. Here Q1 which is only dependent on H1. So Q1 equal to H1 by R1. Now another type of system is interacting. Here let me consider a liquid tank having flow rate Q of T and the outlet resistance is R1 which is connected to another tank and having the outlet flow rate Q2 and the resistance R2 having heights H1, H2. Here the flow rate will be Q1. So here the outlet flow rate Q1 which is not only dependent on H1 but also on H2 because suppose if the height of H1 is greater than H2 the flow will be in this fashion. If H2 is greater than H1 the flow will be opposite. So here the flow rate Q is dependent on the difference between the heights. So Q1 will be H1 minus H2 by R1 if H1 greater than H2. If H2 is greater than H1 Q1 is equal to H2 minus H1 by R1. This type of arrangement is called an interacting system. In a simple way if there are any changes in the downstream process it will affect the upstream process. So these type of interacting systems are mainly seen in recycle streams. Let me consider an example of having a chemical reactor. So feed is sent A and the outlet will be having the product and some contaminants of feed A and it is given to a distillation column for the separation of product. So here B and A. Suppose if you make any changes in the column it won't affect the reactor. It will only affect the column outputs. So this type of systems are called non-interacting systems. Let me consider a similar example here also having a chemical reactor and feed A but at the output outlet you are getting more of unreacted feed and less of product. So in the column you won't be getting a pure product which also contains A and here also unreacted A. So to 
purify this one you will be increasing the yield of the system by recycling it so here if you make any changes in the column it will also affect the recycle stream and this will indirectly affect the reactor so a upstream process is dependent on a downstream process this type of systems are called interacting systems so this is the concept behind the non interacting and an interacting system now we will find the transfer function for both the systems if you like my video subscribe to my channel to get more updates from my channel